Hannah Waddingham and Juno Temple, who starred in Ted Lasso, got back together on Wednesday at the Venom, the last dance UK premiere in London. At the star-studded event, which took place at the BFI IMAX Waterloo, the couple enjoyed catching up on the red carpet and sharing a tender hug. In a black latex maxi dress from Atsuko Kudo, Hannah, 50, flaunted her bust to figure while accessorizing it with silver jewelry and strappy heels. Juno, 35, wore a very risque black cutout gown with a flowery neckline to show off her amazing physique and ink skin. Leading guy Tom Hardy, 46, displayed his eccentric sense of style elsewhere by sporting a navy t-shirt with chalk scrawled across the front. Tom, still holding the chalk, finished the ensemble with pants and a knit jacket. As they walked the red carpet, J.B. Gill, star of Strictly, and his professional dance partner Amy Dowden looked stunning. On October 25th, the third Venom film, The Last Dance, will be released in theaters. In the Venom, The Last Dance trailer, Tom hinted at the superhero trilogy's resolution and looked appropriately ominous. In the teaser for the last installment of the film series, the 46-year-old actor is shown as both Spider-Man villain Venom and Eddie Brock. It becomes clear that in addition to being pursued by the authorities, the two will have to contend with an extraterrestrial from Venom's homeworld. Eddie and Venom are on the run, says a storyline teaser for the movie. The pair must make a terrible choice that will end Venom and Eddie's final dance since they are being pursued by both of their worlds and the net is closing in. In the teaser, the Hollywood star joins in on the action once more, turning into Venom to eat down a slew of criminals while still cracking jokes. Before facing an extraterrestrial monster atop a jet, Eddie and Venom are shown fleeing, fending off attacks underwater and dodging explosions. Juno Temple who starred in Ted Lasso, makes her debut as Dr. Payne, a scientist who warns of the need to keep the existence of extraterrestrial life a secret. Orwell Taylor, a military man determined to find Eddie and Venom, is portrayed by actor Chiwetel Ejiofor, who previously portrayed Dr. Strange antagonist Carl Mordo in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Notting Hill actor Reese Evans makes a brief appearance. Peggy Lou returns as the beloved Mrs. Chun, and Stephen Graham's Patrick Mulligan also makes an appearance. The trailer ends on a trademark crazy note, with the symbiote taking over a horse, and Tom's growling venom voice can be heard menacingly saying, Eddie, the time has come. Last November, Tom first revealed that he was developing the third and last installment of the movie trilogy. When he broke the momentous news, the British actor and writer, who co-wrote the plot for Venom 3 with the superhero movie's director Kelly Marcel, posted a black-and-white picture of the two with stunt double Jacob Tom Urey. He wrote, V3N0M3, as the photo's caption. Fortunately, we are returning to shooting after the final dance, and I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude to every team that has come this far on the journey from V1 to now. Our wonderful cast and crew, as well as our family and close friends, have come a long way. This journey has been and still is a lot of fun, he added. There are always challenging situations at work, but they don't feel as bad when you enjoy what you do, have excellent stuff, and have the support of a strong team behind you. It doesn't get any better when you're surrounded by people you love and care about and talented and passionate departments. Tom continued by expressing his pride in Kelly, describing her as his director, writing partner, and dear friend. Watching you taking the lead on this one fills me with pride, he exclaimed, before describing how working with her has been his honor. Your instincts are always spot on, he continued. First class, you have my support, 100%, as usual, and I adore working with you and seeing you consistently take on more difficult tasks.